in this video, I wanted to show you guys how a, a nice way to layer brass if you wanted to get just a really big brass uh, sound. So what I've created is uh, something I just call three octave brass. What that allows me to do is, is I can sound like uh, I'm playing three octave brass with just one finger. So check this out. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how I made this layer so you can uh, try it out for yourself and see if it works for you. So first off, let me go ahead and break down what are the sounds that I'm using. So I'm going to go into my pad mode here, press pad mode, and then I'm going to press number 14, part mute. And I'm using just three sounds right now, so let me mute all three of them currently. There we go. And uh, let's check out sound number one. And I'll go ahead and cursor up uh, so you can get a better look at it. So here is uh, sound number one. And let me go inside. And here's sound number one. It's number preset, preset number 940, brass part out. And it sounds like this by itself. So that's cool. So that's the, what I'm using on the first one. Uh, the next one, if I cursor down, I'm using number 939. It's preset 939, brass and sax. And it sounds like this. Cool. And that's one of my favorite. I, I love using that sound a lot, brass and sax. So let's go ahead and select. And the next sound I'm using, if I press enter one more time so I can look inside, it's also number 939, brass and sax. But this time, uh, I think I have it lowered an octave. So let me show you how I made those settings real quick. So first off, after I loaded my sounds, I found my sounds number 940, 939, and 939 again. I went over to the keyboard column here, and I just went ahead and turned it on. And what this does is turns those particular sounds on in the keyboard, in the key bed here. So that makes it very easy. So uh, this is what they'll look like when uh, when they're not highlighted, so just go in here and just highlight them. Turn them on. Okay. Once those are highlighted, let's check out the settings that I had to do. So I went into my F3 part view, right here, press that button. And then I went in and I adjusted some of the different uh, pitch pitches. So on the brass out, I went ahead and put this up one octave plus one, up one octave. So here's how it sounded normally. Right here, let me see. Let me go ahead and turn uh, so you guys can hear it. Turn these off so it'll just switch here. Okay, so here's how it sounded normally. And I, I wanted this to be like a tower power sound, so I needed that top trumpet player to just kind of stick out. So I turned him up one octave, so plus one, and I'm in the pitch uh, right here inside. So one, one octave. Okay. Now the next one I go down. That's a brass and sax. This guy I left I left alone. Okay, because he's he's totally fine. So I left him alone. And the next brass and sax I wanted to have that more that low vibe to fill it out. So I dropped that one down one octave. So minus one on part three. So really nice. So. I can either go into the keyboard here and turn them on this way, just if I want to, or we could do it out here. So either way, uh, whatever works for you. And now I have just a really nice. Now as far as far as the volume levels between the ensembles, that's up, up to you. So you can go ahead and use uh, your sliders here. And you can determine who needs to go where. Now, another question might be, well, well, that's cool, but what if I only have one keyboard, I don't have multiple keyboards, and I want to have other stuff in this side of the keyboard? You can totally do that. So one way we can do that, let's go ahead and turn these guys, take them out of the keys. Let's use number four, and let's go ahead and use maybe a common one. Maybe we'll go ahead and press uh, F1 patch list. Uh, we'll just put in an electric piano. Uh, maybe I'll go ahead and put in like a pure EP. So now we have... But if we were to put all these guys together, uh, you know, that might not be what I'm looking for. So 
I'm going to go ahead and take that pure EP, and I'm going to go ahead and adjust where it is in the keyboard. So I'm just going to cursor over to the lower. I'm not going to mess with that because I want the lower fine. I'm going to adjust the upper, so right in here. So we can go ahead and spin the wheel, or I can just go ahead and hold down the shift button and adjust. So I'm thinking maybe the horn guys need to be, uh, I'll go ahead and put the split point right here in F sharp. Okay. Or no, I'll put an F. I'll have my horn guys here. So now I'll go ahead and adjust all my horn guys. They're lower because I want them to play in the upper, but on the lower, I'll put them in F sharp very quickly just by holding down the shift button and touching. Now, let's go back to the electric piano. That's not really a playable octave, so what do we have to do? We have to go into F3 part view, and then we go right, cursor down, group down to pitch, and let's turn him up an octave. Let's see how that feels. That feels good. Let's try one more octave, plus two. That's probably too much, so we'll just put it down up one octave. That's great. Now let's go ahead and turn everybody on in the keyboard really quick. So very quickly, we just created a really nice three octave brass that we can play with one hand, and we went ahead and we put in an electric piano. Now remember, we still have some more MIDI parts we could go ahead and use. So if I wanted to, just to give my electric piano guy maybe a little bit more depth, I can go ahead and add maybe another electric piano, or uh, personally, I always like to add a little bit of voice. So I might add a number 1572 Morningstar, turn him on in the keys, adjust where he is, the shift, and make it mimic exactly where the electric piano is, F3 part view, and I might turn that one up an octave too. So it's pretty much exact now. So now we have, and of course, adjust the levels here. So now we have a very nice split and a layer. So we have the split right here in the F sharp F area, and then we have a, a layer of an electric piano and the uh, Morning Star, and then we also have a really nice layer of the three brass, the three octave brass that gives you just a huge sound. Now to save it, all I would have to do is press the red right button. It already knows it's a live set. Press F8 select. Name it three octave brass or whatever you want to name it. Press OK. Right, okay, and now I have that song to just play. So if you guys have any questions, please hit me up. Uh, please go ahead and click on my some of the commercials, some of the, some of the links, so that way I can get a new camera because mine is breaking, and uh, I'll get back with you later. All right, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching.